Can you believe it? We are doing another product review. You guys love these things. And this one here is, is a little bit different. I usually don't spend this much money on a product review. Uh, I did with the Ninja Blender, but I knew I liked the Ninja Blender brand. So I knew that was a good investment. This one here, I'll tell you about it in a second. First of all, I just want to give you an update. As you know, I'm, I'm reading on audible.com. Uh, it's an audiobook service that is sponsoring my show. And I've been reading all week about Jamie Oliver. And I knew Jamie Oliver. Some of you think I didn't. I didn't know anything about him, but I knew who he was and uh, about being the Naked Chef and BBC and all that stuff. But, the, but his fame in my eyes was when he started to try to change school lunches around the world. This guy's really cool. I mean, he's, he's all about being real and that's, I just, I relate to that. That's the one I've been reading all week. And the new one is going to be, Anthony Bourdain has a book, it's a tell-all book. And it's been out for a few years, but he tells about some of the dirty, scoundrelly things that go on uh, behind the kitchen doors. Anyway, audible.com, check it out. I, I'm giving you a free audiobook. okay? Go try it out for 30 days, listen to the whole book, have fun. Uh, the link on the screen is audible.com, Jack Show. And thanks, Audible, for being so awesome. All right, so this right here, New Wave. The New Wave 2 induction cooktop. Look at the claims this box is making. Heats up twice as fast, uses up to 70% less energy, right? Boils water in 90 seconds. We're going to give that a try. All right, so that's the, uh, it's the Perfect Green New Wear cookware, 9-inch aluminum. So there you go, that's what it looks like, that's what the bottom looks like. That's the inside. Kind of got a little bit of a deep, deepness to it, right? Cool. All right, so put that off the side. Okay, I just pulled this out of the box and it's really light. It's almost like there's nothing inside. It's just, uh, this would be easy to move around, pull out when you need it, and then put it away. Huh, this might get you, if this works, I may be using this on the show a lot more. Uh-oh, a little wobbly, why is that? Why does it wobble? Oh, I hate wobbling. What is up with that? I guess it's supposed to be, I guess it's supposed to be like that. I don't know, do you guys hate when your chair wobbles or your table wobbles at a restaurant? I can't stand that. Okay, so let's take a look at the controls first. We have programs, there's special programs for different types of cooking. Then time, low, medium, low, and then medium. Then medium, high, high, and maximum sear. Huh, I should try and sear something. And then we have pause and clear and start. And I'm not sure what kind of programs they got. I'll have to look in the book. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is spray the pan. So we got our scrambled eggs in. I put it on medium, high. And turn, and you gotta hit the start button or you'll stand here forever and your eggs never cooked. And if it doesn't work well, I will open this booklet and start reading the instructions. So you see it bubbling? Look, wow, getting some fast action going already. So it's bubbling here. I don't see anything bubbling over there yet. Oh, it looks like it's all cooking very well. Wow. Working out nice. After this, I'll try some fried eggs, some regular fried eggs. Huh. Why is it doing that? Why did it, it just. Okay, so here's another thing I just learned. If you lift the pan off, it will shut off the machine, so I just, I just hit start again. So I, I'm a pan mover. So I mean, I'm gonna be moving this around. Uh, it won't, it won't keep cooking. So always make sure part of the pan's touching it. Whoop! I guess not. Go back on there. There you go. That's kind of annoying. Take a look at the other side. 
Not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. Cool. We're going to slide these right here. Going to respray. Try some eggs, which I'm going to go down to like a medium heat if I can. Oops, start. I'm on medium. It's cooking good. Cooking better than my last video I did. Problem is, it's lopsided. Still bugging me. Now, I always turn off my flame, so I'm going to stop this. I'm going to stop this. I lift the pan off. Um, when I flip eggs, I always just use the heat that's in the pan so I don't overcook the bottoms too much. It's just my tip. All right, here we go. See how, uh, how perfect it cooks the other side? So when you flip your eggs, turn your flame off. You have enough heat to finish them off. This claims to boil water in 90 seconds. Nowhere in the book, I put a bunch of water in here. Once again, you can see it's lopsided. It's still driving me nuts. Anyway, uh, so nowhere in the book that I find in the recipe book how to boil water. So I'm just gonna put on the highest heat and we're gonna time this thing. So let me get on my, my foam. This is almost like a simmer, just went a little harder. All right, that's a frying pan boil right there. I'm gonna call it at, whoops, four minutes and four seconds. Okay, let's turn it off. Watch how that just stops instantly, look at that. That's so cool. Okay, so four minutes, four seconds, let's go over to the stove. Okay, so there's the timer. And water's cool again, I'm going on up, up to high, the highest I got. And start. See how long that takes. Okay, I'm approaching three minutes, and the bottom's just lined with the t tiny air bubbles. Okay, approaching four minutes and four second mark, and it's not even close. Well, it is starting to do some movement, but there you go. Whoops. There. It's almost right where it needs to be. Okay, the other one, did you notice there's a hot spot right around here on the pan? And it boiled in one area more than the rest. It seemed like that's where the activity was. That's when that's where the eggs bubbled up. There's always a hot spot on that, but it did it did pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right there. Five minutes and eight seconds, right there. Okay, last test we're gonna do is searing. Put a little oil in the pan. I'm gonna go to maximum sear. We're gonna start that going. Okay, while that's going here, I got a little lamb patty here, some ground lamb. Just gonna give us some seasoning. A little salt, a little pepper. Look what the oil's doing. That's interesting, look at the oil. It's like pushing away from this area here. All right, let's get this in there anyway. I think we're good. Throw that in there. Just a quick little test. Sorry, I didn't have any ground beef, so I'm using this instead. It'll probably fall apart on me, but it's all good. Make sure your hands are washed, of course, when you're working with food. A little salt. A little pepper. A little gourmet seasoning. Wow, that smells awesome already. All right, let's see how it did. There we go. Oh, nice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Rock on, it nailed it. It's a nice outer crust right there. Okay, cooking surface, very even. The eggs came out great. Boils water faster than the stovetop, sears meat perfectly. The only downfall on this machine is it's lopsided. It's kind of bouncing back and forth. 
That could be my fault. I haven't figured it out yet, but there's only three legs. And don't shut off as soon as I take the pan off. Give me 10 seconds to flip whatever I'm doing, to mix it around and put something in it and put it back down. Give me a 10 second count. Those are the only improvements. Otherwise, this is a major success. Thanks audible.com for sponsoring this episode. Guys, go on audible.com slash Jack Show and do an audiobook with me. It's free. <laughs> Hello, we love free. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.